Hi everyone, here is Muad again with new tutorial on programming the PIC microcontroller with Micro C. In today's lesson, you will learn how to interface your PIC microcontroller with an LCD and a temperature sensor using the ADC analog to digital converter and the GPIO peripherals and the libraries on Micro C Pro. This LCD and the ADC are used in many embedded applications in order to read data from sensors and show this data to the user. So let's see how can we program our microcontroller. For this lesson, I will be using the PIC 16F884, a temperature sensor LM35 from Texas Instruments and LCD which can display up to 32 character and two lines. So let's start our program. So at the end we will show the temperature of uh, the sensor. So we can use the plus button to change the temperature and the minus button to decrease the temperature here. So let's take a look on our code behind this. First of all, you should begin by defining to which pins the, of the microcontroller is the LCD connected. On my example, I use the C0 for the reset pin, C1 for the enable pin, and then D3 to D0 for the data pins D7 to D4. The same pins you should configure as output, so please pay attention here by using the same pins on both blocks. Here are some variables that I will be using during my program to store the read value from the ADC and the string to store this variable. On the main function, I start by configuring the AN2 pin as an, input, an analog input or analog pin by giving to the register AN cell the value 4 and to the register AN cell H the value 0. The value 4 because we are using the pin A in 2. So if you are using the pin A in 1 as an input for your analog conversion, so you should give the uh, register A in cell the value 2. If you are using the A in 0 as an input for your conversion, you should give the A in cell the value 1. For more, uh, for more information about these two registers, please take a look on the data sheet of the microcontroller. Configure port A as an input. To port A, we will connect our sensor on A in 2. Then, don't forget to use the function LCD in it to initialize the LCD. Here, I turned off the cursor which shows the current position on the LCD, so I don't need it. I turned it off. And on the first line, third column, I start showing the word temperature on the LCD. After that, I open a while loop, where I start reading permanently the result of the analog to digital conversion using the function ADC read with an argument too. Here we use the 2 because we are using the pin A in 2. If you are using, for example, the pin A in 1, please give to this function the argument 1. The function LCD out takes as an argument a string. That's why I use the function int to str to convert the integer to a string. Here you see that I divided the voltage value by 2. To understand the reason of that, we should take a look on the resolution and the reference voltage of the micro of our uh, ADC. If you take a look on the data sheet of the microcontroller, you will learn that the ADC block is using a reference voltage of 5.12 volt and a resolution of 10 bits which means that the maximal value we get will be 1023. If you take a look on the data sheet of the LM35, you will see that each 
0.01 volt represents 1 degree Celsius. By doing some calculation, we conclude that each 1 degree Celsius will be represented by 2. Each incrementation of 0.01 volt, which is 1 degree Celsius, will be represented by an incrementation of 2 on the ADC conversion. To show the real value of the temperature on the LCD, we should divide the result of the ADC conversion by 2. So let's go back to our code. After converting the temperature from integer to string, we can show it on the LCD using the function LCD out. As an argument, this function takes the line, the, the column, and the text to be printed. So in my case, I will print the value on the second line on the third column. Then I will be using the function LCD CHRCP in order to print a character on current position. As an argument, I gave it 200, the number 223, which is the code of the degree symbol. After that, I will call the function LCD CHRCP again in order to print the C character for the Celsius at the end. So, it was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.